Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to leverage ChatGPT plugins to kind of unlock a world of possibilities. So we will learn today, I'm gonna to show you a few plugins that kind of are related to finance and they work incredibly well. So let's, let's go ahead and get started. So what you can see here is right now I have the ChatGPT window. And you can see that you can select, as I mentioned before, GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. And if you click on GPT 4, you will find that there is plugins here has been activated for you. If you click on it, it's going to tell you, well, there is, are no plugins enabled. So if you click on this one here, you will find that I activated a few plugins here for us. And at the end, you should find plugin store. So if you click on plugin store, think of it as more of an app store. So right now, ChatGPT could be integrated with, let's say, Kayak, uh, which is a website that can be used to book, for example, hotels and book uh, airlines as well, flights. You can also integrate it with, let's say, AI PDF. It can allow you to interact with a PDF, for example. You can also help you, for example, let's say, ask your PDF or maybe ask a PDF questions that reply back to you. And that's what we're going to actually be, gonna be uh, covering today. There's also a lot of plugins here for portfolio optimization, as an example. If you'd like to optimize your portfolio, uh, financials, of course, and that will be one of the other plugins that we're going to be covering today. You can also, if you click here, you, you see tons of uh, plugins, one for Expedia, for example, if you would like to make reservations. There is one for Notable. There are many, many plugins here available for you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to simply, because I activated it already, I can just say PDF and you press enter and you will find that here I have many PDF available uh, pl related plugins and the one that I'm interested in right now is Ask Your PDF. So if you just click on install, okay, here because I have it already, it's asking me to uninstall, so I'm not going to be doing that, but you should find the green button here if you don't have it already and you just click on it and that is going to install Ask Your PDF for you. Now let's go ahead and activate Ask Your PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, say Ask Your PDF, and here we go. Now we should find Ask Your PDF has been highlighted here for you. So the first step that I'm going to want it to do is I would like to simply upload the PDF and talk to it, okay? And today I selected a, a PDF related to finance, and that will be the 10K report. And I've included this as well in the course package. So in the course package, I included the 10K report for Apple for specifically for 2022. And let me grab it right here to show it to you. So this is simply the document that I will be uploading today. And if you go up, you will find here I have the Forum 10K report. And the Forum 10K is primarily used for uh, showing the financial performance of the company to highlight all the risks related to the company and so on. And you can find, for example, if you scroll down, you find, for example, risk factors here. You can find the um, different parts related to the directors, for example, and the executive board. You can find a lot of financial information as well. And if you click on risk factors, that will direct you here to all the risk factors related to Apple, as an example. And this is a PDF that I would like to upload to our uh, Ask PDF uh, plugins. So the first step that you need to do is you just need to type upload PDF and you press enter, and then it's going to tell you, um, let's wait and see. But basically this is kind of, I would say, a little bit of a basic way of uploading a PDF. There should be like a button here to upload a PDF, but that's how it works. And hopefully they will fix it or make it a little bit easier, I would, I would say, in the future. Please upload your PDF document by clicking on the link below. So now they provide you with a link. So now you click on it, and then you need to go ahead and upload your PDF here and then you're gonna get an ID or a number and you will use that number to copy it into ChatGPT. So I'm going to grab the 10K report here and I'm gonna drag and drop. And that is gonna tell me while well, analyzing the document, now it has been uploaded and now it's provided you with a document ID. I'm gonna copy the document ID, go back to ChatGPT, paste the document ID, click run. Again, it's a little bit of, I would say, uh, too much work to upload the PDF, but it's okay. It works. It works great afterwards. So right now it's calling the Ask Your PDF plugins uh, plugin, and now it's the title of the uploaded PDF. Now it started to read the PDF, which is pretty incredible. 
And now you can see how can I assist you with it? Well, I would like to, and that's what I really like, is to summarize a document in one paragraph. So I would like to grab all this massive document and summarize it. Think of it as if you are a lawyer, for example, or maybe you are a researcher, and you don't want, you don't have time to read all these papers and do all of this stuff. You can go ahead, ask artificial intelligence to do that trick for you and kind of summarize the document for you in one paragraph. The document titled 10K 2022 uh, document appears to be an annual report form. So it's actually understood what that is. And then it's asking you, selling you for Apple for fiscal year ending 2022. The report provides you details on Apple's financial performance, including consolidated financial statements, stockholder matters, and equity securities, and so on. And it's kind of the, the report is comprehensive, offering insights into Apple's operations, financial health, and strategic direction for this specified year. Pretty incredible. Okay, let's go ahead and maybe specify or focus on the risks associated with Apple. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, could you please list the risks associated with Apple stock? And let's see if ChatGPT understood what I mean and was able to capture that data, summarize it from the PDF. So now it's calling the Ask Your PDF plugin. Again, all of that is powered by AI. It's reading the document, understanding the context, context of the document. Certainly, here we go. Now it started to summarize the risks for us. So now you can see global and regional economic conditions. There is a lot of uncertainty with and decline in global or regional economic conditions in general. That's as per of 2022, of course, because of the pandemic, because of the war in Ukraine and so on. COVID-19 pandemic, again, that was one of the issues. Supply chain risks, for example. You can also see additional issues with talent and culture as well. And all of these, all of that has been obtained from the, PD, from the PDF that I uploaded, okay? Also competition, it faces a lot of competition as well with Samsung and Google and many, many other um, phone companies. You can also see tax matters, stock price volatility as well. And all of these risks are highlighted in the 10K report. There is also um, uh, lawsuits as well on Apple. There's also trade restrictions too. I hope it will gonna capture the lawsuits here. So it's telling you as well, there is macroeconomic and industry risks as well associated with it. And these are the summaries, kind of a summary of the document highlighting all the risks associated with, the, with Apple as a company. Okay, next I would like to specify there is a law lawsuit on Apple specific, relate, specifically related to uh, Epic Games. So now let's assume that you would like to capture that specific information. So now I'm going to say, what is the nature of Epic Games lawsuit according to the PDF? Basically, I'm saying according to the PDF because um, I wanted to force ChatGPT to look at data within the PDF and not just hallucinate or come up with information on its own, let's say from, because it's already trained on the internet. So probably this has been mentioned somewhere, but now I'm focusing specifically on Ask Your PDF here uh, plugin. And the nature of the lawsuit between Epic Games and Apple as described below, Epic, Epic Games lawsuit. And he is telling you the lawsuit here as well. It's kind of summarizing you the lawsuit for, um, for Apple. And if you go back to the document or the 10K document, and if you go, I believe, to page 23, let's go ahead and, and see if that makes sense or not, if there is even mention here or not. So here we go. Now you can see Epic Games lawsuits has been filed where it has been filed. The company filed the, like a lawsuit, for example, for the breach of contract on September of 2021 the legal, legal proceeding and chat gpt was able to summarize it for you here which is pretty pretty amazing and then think of it now you have you unlock the world again of possibilities by just uploading a pdf and asking or talking to a pdf instead of going and wasting time reading through an entire massive document and that's it that's all i have for this lesson i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next lesson